All right, folks, welcome back to the channel. Tonight we're diving into the Tennessee Titans' latest moves in free agency, and let me tell you, I'm pumped about it. Ever since the offseason kicked off with the hiring of Bryce Callahan as head coach, I've been all in, and today's NFL offense is king, and the Titans are stepping up to the plate. You've got to love guys like Ryan Tannehill and Derrick Henry, right? They've been solid for us, but let's face it, the competition is fierce. With quarterbacks like Mahomes, Allen, Burrow, and Jackson lighting up the league, we need more firepower on offense. And that's exactly what we're aiming for. First up, let's talk about Will Levis. Now, he didn't see much action in his rookie season, but mark my words, this guy's got potential. Remember that Monday night game against the Dolphins? Levi showed flashes of brilliance, and I'm all aboard the hype train. Plus, with Callahan at the helm, I've got faith in our offensive game plan. Sure, losing Derrick Henry was tough, no denying that. But hear me out, folks. We don't need a one-man wrecking crew in the backfield. Look at recent Super Bowl champs. They've won without a Henry-esque running back. Tony Pollard brings versatility, and let's not forget about Deonta Foreman's contributions. Now let's talk about the Titans' underrated squad. These guys don't always get the spotlight they deserve. But hey, that's where we come in, right? Smash that like button, hit subscribe for more NFL content, and let's show some love to our Titans. Nashville's team is on the rise, and I'm here for it. And how about those surprise moves? DeAndre Hopkins last year, and now Kelvin Ridley joining the squad. Talk about shaking things up. Ridley's a game changer, and paired with Tannehill, he's going to be a force to reckon with. Let's keep the momentum going, Titans fans. So if you're as hyped as I am about the Titans' future, Let's make some noise. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and let's aim for 500 likes on this video. Together, we'll keep the Titans train rolling. Man, let me tell you, the Titans have been catching heat since last season's meltdown, but check this out. Calvin Ridley is here to change the game. Last season, he balled out with 76 catches, over 1,000 yards, and 8 touchdowns. That's WR1 material, folks, and now we're teaming him up with DeAndre Hopkins. Talk about a dynamic duo. Oh, and did you hear the news? Will Levis just got a new anchor for our offensive line. Lloyd Cushenberry signed for four years at $50 million. This guy's one of the best centers out there, hands down. With him leading the charge, our O-line is looking solid. But hey, we still need to shore up some depth, no doubt about it. Now, let's talk draft. The Titans hold the seventh pick this year, and I've got a feeling we're going all in on offense. Forget about snagging another lineman. We need playmakers. Names like Aiden Hutchinson and Kyle Hamilton might be buzzing around, but I've got my eye on Brock Bowers. This tight end could be the missing piece to our offensive puzzle. With Ridley and Hopkins in the mix, our offense is primed for greatness. The Titans aren't just rebuilding, they're reloading. And let me tell you, it's about time. Ridley alone is going to change the whole dynamic of our game. Every Titans fan out there knows we've been craving more offensive firepower, and now we've got it. Let's talk about Tony Pollard for a sec. In a star-studded class of wide receivers and running backs, landing Pollard was a coup. Last season, he proved he's got what it takes to shine. With him in the backfield, paired with Ridley and Hopkins on the outside, our offense is looking deadly. So mark my words, folks, the Titans are making moves and we're just getting started. Ridley's arrival is a game-changer and I can't wait to see what Levis and the squad do next. This is our time to shine, Titans fans. Let's talk about Tony Pollard for a minute. This guy's been putting up numbers, over 1,000 rushing yards the year before, and he's not just a ground threat. With over 300 receiving yards in each of his last three seasons, he's a dual threat out of the backfield, and let's not sleep on tie spears either. This rookie had a solid debut season, averaging 4.53 yards per carry, with 52 catches to boot. Talk about versatility. But here's the thing, folks. Despite their talent, the Titans' running back room doesn't get the recognition it deserves. It's like they're flying under the radar. I mean, I get it. Last season wasn't our best showing. But trust me, there's a lot to be excited about in Nashville now. Let's switch gears and talk defense. Kenneth Murray's arrival is flying under the radar, but mark my words, this guy's a game changer. With over 100 tackles and three sacks last season, He's a force to be reckoned with, and let's not forget his knack for breaking up passes. Murray's poised for a breakout season with the Titans. As for the draft, we've got options. With a first round and a second round pick, we've got some flexibility if we decide to bolster our offensive line at pick number seven. Keep an eye out for Xavier Worthy from Texas. This guy's got potential written all over him. 
So, despite the lack of buzz around the Titans, we're gearing up for a comeback. Pollard, Spears, Murray, they're just the beginning. Watch out, NFL. The Titans are on the rise. Let's take a closer look at our wide receiver lineup. With DeAndre Hopkins and Kelvin Ridley in the mix, we've got game changers on our hands. And don't forget about guys like Traylon Burks and Westbrook Ikeen. They're adding depth to our receiving corps. Plus, we've got a solid running back duo that's flying under the radar. Now, let's talk about our young quarterback, Will Levis. Heading into his second season with Coach Callahan calling the shots, the future looks bright. And keep an eye out for Xavier Worthy in the second round of the draft. He could be a steal. As for our draft strategy, it's still up in the air. We might go for an offensive tackle in the first round, but don't be surprised if we snag a wide receiver in the second. Personally, I'm leaning towards Brock Bowers. He's got Titans written all over him. But hold up, folks. The Titans aren't done yet. We've still got around $50 million in cap space to play with. So far, I'm liking what I'm seeing in free agency. We've addressed our offensive needs and we'll tackle the defensive side of things in our next video. So if you're loving the Titans offseason moves as much as I am, drop a like, hit subscribe for more NFL content, and let me know in the comments what you think of our offseason so far. Peace out, Titans fans.